Hello, I am back for another Get Ready With Me. Happy third, second day of Pride Month. Not me, not knowing, let me see. Happy third of June. Um, okay. Today though, I'm my mom showering, I'm using my phone, and I have a little video saved on TikTok that I'm going to use for my makeup. But she has the phone right now, so how we're going to kill time is I think we need to talk. We need to talk about the fact of Pride Month. Now, listen, as a gay person, I have been... Well, you don't just, like... I don't know. I've been gay now since, well, forever. Um, And I just want to say, through all of my exper experiences with other gay people and being... I'm going to close my door. Oh, and being gay myself and also with just gender and pronouns and things, we need to realize real quick and just take the time to say that Pride Month is not always cupcakes and rainbows because there is still countries and cities and homes and just Places that are homophobic still and that don't support anything gay rights related. And there's places that they would kill you if you came out. And there is just sometimes people can't even come out because of where they're living and their home. And we need to just take time as well to just say that pride matters so much because there's just still so much homophobia in the world. And we need to just sometimes take a breath and realize how lucky Oh. Here. Oh my god, thank you. Read the directions. Uh, okay. Stop barking. You slip her feet in there? I'll put it on the top. Hi. Okay. I'm sorry. My dog has anxiety. That's why she's barking. Don't, don't worry. She's okay and, uh, she just has, she gets anxiety sometimes because she's a very over- Overprotected dog. So. But uh, we need to go on a walk with her. You know, me and my mom pick up garbage and just go on walks to be healthy and things. And uh, Happy, again, with her anxiety, she gets kind of overwhelmed with all the new smells and stuff outside. And she needs to go on a walk. We need to train this dog. Move. So I guess my grandpa bought me this for her. Hi, Happy. Um, anyways, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I was not expecting that. But anyways, on the topic, again, um, I just want to say that sometimes we need to just take a moment and realize how lucky we are to be able to come out and things. I'm just saying that from where I live and my coming out story that I just, I want to just say that I am so lucky to be able to come out and be myself and dress how I want and like dye my hair and look how I want to with like my hairstyle, my nails and just different things like that. And I just want to say that we need to remember the fact that there is so much bad happening still with not even just Pride Month itself with like racism, sexism, the ecosystem and just different things like that. So I think that we need to just take a little moment and just like that's just do good, okay? I don't care if you are straight, if you're not, like, I don't care if you're just an ally in the community and watching me. If they're just, I want to just say, um, be nice. Don't be a dick. There's no need to be a dick because you can't help the fact what you identify as or your sexuality or anything. So that's just not be mean to people for no reason because you never know what's actually happening to people, and that's just take a moment to just, I don't know. Everything will get better in time, and things have gotten way better and things, but I don't know. Uh, Pride Month it can be so difficult for people sometimes because there is so many people that don't even know who they are yet, and it's Pride Month, and they're like, oh my god, well, I don't know what I identify as. I don't know what my gender is. I don't know what my sexuality is, and... Sometimes coming out is just so hard, you know, and it can be for so, so many different reasons. So 
I am, well, this is my outfit for today, and my outfit for today is symbolizing the fact that it's okay to be who you are. I know that there are so many people out there that still are trying so hard to fight the fact that this, like being gay is who they are, but being gay is amazing. It's okay to be not straight. It's okay to be straight though as well. It's okay to be whatever sexuality or whatever gender and to have whatever pronouns you are. It's okay to be anything. Like we need to just embrace the fact that we're all of us are different. If you're gay, if you're straight, if you're black, if you're white, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're beautiful and everyone Everyone matters, okay? So let's just not be gross to people for no fucking reason. This is my outfit, and I hope that one person sees me today, and they're like, hey, this person's pretty cool, and maybe it helps them. I am wearing my pride flag as my outfit. I am wearing this top I got at the mall. Pretty rainbow. This skirt I just got off Amazon, and I'm wearing my pride flag. Well, I mean, it's just my point for that. Yeah. My rainbow one. I want to get the new pride flag, but I don't have that one yet. But it goes down to my knees. My knees, all the way down. And this is my outfit. I got this at Five Below last Pride Month. I got this off Amazon and then this at Pink. But the pink in the mall, so. Yes. Um, and if any of you are actually wondering about me, I actually don't even know what my sexuality is at the moment. I don't know if I am pansexual or if I am lesbian. But I want to say, I don't care. I don't care when I find out or either or, or even if I'm none of those. Because, you know what, it doesn't matter. Because, again, another thing, sexualities and genders change all the time you're always evolving and changing yourself even if you don't even notice that you are you feel me so <laughs> you know my sexuality has been everything so has my gender though i've been non-binary i've been a boy i've been a girl i've been everything over the fucking sun and i am proud of myself for everything i've done and ever and every way i've grown and you know if I'm lesbian, I'm lesbian. If I'm pansexual, I'm pansexual. It doesn't fucking matter. My pronouns, I don't know. I think I'm, I'm pretty much fine with anything. Most people call me by she, her. So I don't really know how I'd feel if anyone called me by any other pronouns. But so far, I don't give a fuck what you call me. You call me any pronouns, I don't care. And uh, my gender, again, I identify as androgynous. What it means for me personally, I don't care. I don't care what gender I am. I can be every gender. I can be no gender. You want me to be a boyfriend? Shit, you want me to be a girlfriend? I don't care. I don't care. I'll be anything. I just, I'm just vibing with life. And gender doesn't really matter to me. Because I don't know. This just doesn't really matter to me, personally. Um, but again, remember, just respect people's pronouns and gender. No matter how they look or how they talk or what they were born with. It doesn't fucking matter, okay? Respect people for who the fuck they are. Because it just shows what kind of person you are, not them. Like, don't, don't, don't hate on people because you're insecure or just to be a dick for no reason. But anyways, I fucking love you all and I love life. I'm going to the mall again because I want to buy fake flowers. And, um, yesterday I didn't go out. But the day after that, like the last time I made a video, I want to say I actually did way more than I thought. I went on a walk and I picked up garbage and... The nicest lady, I was picking up garbage with my mom, by the way, she was like saying, hey, you know, thank you for picking up the environment. I see you guys every once in a while. And I just want to say like, go you. And I was so happy. It was the first time anyone's actually said something to me about how I'm helping the environment. I pick up garbage all the fucking time. I just, it's a hobby. I generally like doing it. I'm not just doing it to make the environment better. I'm doing it to make the environment better, to feel good. It's exercise, and I just feel great doing it. It's a great hobby, you know? Um, but it, it, my first time ever picking up garbage, this nice lady was just like, hey, I, I've seen you guys do this a couple times. Thank you. And it made me so happy that someone actually saw what I'm doing and was like, 
<laughs> you know? Um, also, I found things. Um, I want to say I'm a thrifter. I love thrifting things. And I actually found things that I can reuse. Let me pause the video and show you. I found this flower. It's a fake flower. I mean, obviously, probably not. But, like, I don't know. I just think it could be so cool. Like, a part of my outfit somehow. I also found this thing. I don't know really what it is. I just think it's so cute. I think it's like a... I think it's a chicken, but to be honest, I don't really, really know what it is. And another thing is, I was walking and I found... Oh my god, are you... I don't even know. I just... I found the most beautiful white cat ever. There's a lot of, like, homeless... Homeless kind of cats. Like, they're just stray cats that every neighbor kind of feeds and pets and stuff. But I usually find brown ones or, like, black ones. I never found, like, an actual white cat. And I just, I found the most beautiful white cat and had the most pretty green eyes you could ever think of. He was a boy in his balls. Oh, my God. He had to, he's like a little kitten. He had the tiniest white balls and they were furry. My dog's a girl. She doesn't have balls or anything. And I don't know. I just thought it was so funny to see cat balls. So my mom thought the same. And it was so cute. And he was really nice. He let us pet him. And he was just, and I got pictures. Again, if you know what my Instagram is, I posted him, obviously. And I'm so happy I found that cat. I just, I don't know, I've never seen such a pretty cat. He looked so pretty. So pretty. Like, his eye color. I, my favorite color, I won't even lie to you, is fucking rainbow. I can't choose. I can't choose a favorite color. Because colors are so different. Like, I just, I love every color ever. So, <laughs> yeah. But green, just, since I am such a nature lover, green is more of like a top tier color I really like. I even had green hair for a while. But, um, like, the green was just such a pretty green. I love him. He's such a cute cat. So cute. I really, really, really loved him. And I just, it was, a, so, I pick up garbage a lot. But so far, this was my favorite time I ever picked up garbage. Because someone finally noticed what I'm doing. And, I don't know, like, I don't need someone, I don't need people to notice that I'm picking up garbage. Because, I'm not doing it for people to say, you're such a good person. You know, you're picking up garbage. I'm doing it for exercise, to be in nature, for the environment to be better, and just doing it so that when I look outside, I don't see garbage. I see grass. I see trees. I see a better environment altogether. So I'm not really doing it for people to see me and say, oh, thank you. Thank you for that. But the fact that it was my first time that someone actually did, it was, I was just like, oh, wow, you, you're actually noticing what I'm doing. Th thank you. I don't know. It felt good. It, it made me feel good inside. And I, I just, I really was happy that someone actually saw me. and was like, thank you for doing that for just everyone, you know? And, like, and remember, go pick up garbage. It's exercise. Pe being, it, it's scientific because I said so. Being in nature is good for your mental health. It's great for your mental health being in nature. So, if you're being in nature, when you look outside, you'll see a better environment altogether. And remember, every everything matters. Like, even if you pick up one piece of garbage today, you still did something. You should still be proud of yourself. You don't have to get a full bag of garbage. You need just, you, Even if you just find one, if you, if you pick it up and throw it away, that garbage is in the garbage can, not on the sidewalk anymore, and that matters. So re just remember that little accomplishments are, you should still, you know, hug yourself, give yourself a pat on the back, and just, like, be happy that you even did that. So remember, you, if you do, if you actually are hearing me, and you're like, okay, you know, just remember the fact that in, little accomplishments matter as well. So you don't need to just, like, pick up the whole environment in one day. Because, you know, you can never pick up the environment on one day. Do as much as you can. And just make sure to throw it away. Wash, wash your hands afterwards. Do not pick up anything. Don't pet your animal when you're done. What you do, throw away the garbage. Wash your hand. Then hands. Not hand. Wash your hands. Then you can, like, pet your dog, your cat, your bunny, your bird. I don't fucking know. And then, like, eat food and drink. Just remember that. Um, and also be proud of who you are, because 
Why the fuck not? Even if you're straight, still be proud of your folks. Be proud. Be proud of who you are. Doesn't matter if you're gay, if you're not gay. Whatever the fuck. I don't know who you are. So remember, be proud of yourself. Because you matter. But if you're a dick, stop it. You can change. You don't know if you're a dick or not. So. So. But anyways, I heard my mom, like, stop the water. I need my phone back so I can do my makeup look. And then, I, oh, by the way, I'm doing a pinky kind of makeup look because also in my last video I said I wanted to do pink makeup, but I forgot because I got carried away. I don't know why my nose is so itchy right now, but anyways. So I'm going to do pink makeup today. And it's going to be super cute, I think. And, um, I mean, I don't know what else I'm doing today, to be honest with you. I don't know what else I'm doing today. Maybe I will try and take my dog on a walk. Oh, let me pause it. Oh, okay. Look what Grandpa got us. Woohoo! I mean, it's not the colors I would choose, but... It's a star. Right? Yes. It's a practice, right? I'm going to pause this real quick. Okay, we're finally doing my makeup look. Enough lecturing you guys. We're gonna do my makeup look and then. Hey, I said that we're going to the mall, but I also said I didn't know what else we were doing. Are we just gonna go to the mall today? Yeah. Hello, don't act like you're not in the room. What? Sorry. We're just gonna go to the mall today, right? Like, we're not going anywhere else. Okay. We did get a late start, but. Well, that doesn't really matter. So, we don't actually know. I don't know. Anyways, I'm starting with pink now because. Yes. Also, my mom thinks that the collar that my grandpa got, well, I don't really know if it's a collar, but a thing to walk her, it's a small, and hubby, I don't even understand. We I know bought her, like, five smalls. I know that there is small, medium, and large, but I, hubby is not small, and hubby is not large. But I don't know if she's medium. Like, I know, that, like, that know, we can think. clip this leash to that, to the harness, no matter what, the pride leash. Oh, yeah, we have a gay leash. Not even a pride leash, but we're gays. Oh, and another thing. I don't care if it's Pride Month. Be proud of yourself every motherfucking month. And don't just, don't, don't be gross even when it's not Pride Month. Because yeah. it's not slay. Be a good person. It's okay. Well, now that you've used all my grass lotion and left this dumb vanilla cupcake crap. <laughs> Thanks. Because now I'm squirting. Mom, I like grass. You know I'm a nature lover. But you also liked the other expensive lotion I got you. And I, I used that one today because of that cute meme I showed you earlier. Because I don't want to be small with dumb vanilla cupcake. Nice. You don't like that I smell like a vanilla cupcake? I smell Maybe like you're fine. But I need to get over that closet I can. Too bad. I need to go back in the closet. Mom, I am, I have my camera on. Guys, we don't fight. We're not fighting. <laughs> Gay rights. Stop it. What, what am I going to wear? I don't care. Because I have what I'm wearing. My gay flag. Exactly. <laughs> I told you, I want you to wear black or something, and then you look like you're my bodyguard. Because technically, you kind of are my bodyguard, but I'm my own bodyguard, because bitch, I'm strong. The fuck? Although, when I threw the dog toy for Hoppy today, and you blocked it when it went straight for your face, that was like... Yeah, I was not having that. Major I don't know. Was it? survival instinct wise. Well, when you love yourself, you have to make yourself strong and protect yourself. I don't know where I was going with that. I'm kind of distracted right now. Because you like to battle. That is who you are. Gay bad boy. Gay bad boys. Alright. But like, yeah. Oh, and by the way, my pride flag, it kind of goes on the ground, and we're, we're going to be the gayest people at the mall today. Oh. And she's going to hold my little pride flag sometimes when we're walking. And if you know, if you know me, I kind of decide to walk like the richest model that you'll ever meet in your life. Because, why the fuck not? Why walk normal when you can walk like you're in a fashion magazine? That's what I choose to do. Be the most extra bitch, even down to my walk. 
You don't like that? Let me see you walk. I don't care. Because live life. You only live once. Be gay. Are you okay, sir? Yes, I'm proud. Are you annoying to watch everybody? What about carrying that pink pony with you? That could be cute. And my chicken bag? I'm looking at a little pink pony in the closet now. It's really cute. I know what you're talking about. Tell me that it doesn't look cute. I mean, it doesn't look you bad. You should make a necklace out of that. I should. What now? That's sick. What a little tiny bone. For years. Okay, and then. Okay, well, I'm not even following the picture anymore because it's kind of already in my head. But I'm just pulling out my thing. Okay, let me see. I want. I want some pink. Okay. So I'm trying to find a little pink hand thing. I don't really know how to explain it. I'll just show it to you when I find it. Well, I hope I can find it. I know I have one, but the only thing is I only have one. Maybe I should have a new one. Okay, maybe I can't find it. Found it! This. I'm gonna put this on oh i'm really excited yesterday i was on tiktok and i looked at some makeup inspiration things and i found a couple good videos so that's so silly of me i'm gonna i have some great makeup inspirations and I'm just excited about it. Oh. That's embarrassing that they heard that. Huh? That's embarrassing that they heard that. Oh, I'm also going to put this on my pink eyebrow. Because I fucking want to. I'm not even part of the makeup look, but I don't care. Because if you see, part of my eyebrow is pink. And I kind of... And if I put blue, I'll have blue eyebrows from makeup, and I don't know why, but I kind of thought it's cool. Also, what about this as a perfume? This is kind of good. How about you tell all of my, I don't know, friends? <laughs> about your sister or your mother, your uh, stepmom? I have a stepmom? What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I don't have a... <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. And you don't know. <laughs> And that's good. You'll never know. Tell them about your girlfriend that's a bag of fucking coffee, even if you don't even drink coffee. By the way, don't drink coffee. It's not good for you. Don't. It's not fun. Veronica, stop policing people. I am gay, and I am proud, and I will push it on everybody. <laughs> this is what I believe it in. nothing to do with people who drink coffee. Shut up. Gay people so drink iced coffee. Yeah, so shut up. When people do what they want to do. Well, it's not healthy. And I will not stop listening. Neither is placing people's business, so mind it. Mm. Coming from me and yours truly, Lay Coffee Bag. Right, now I'm gonna add some. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm doing my lips. The eyebrow kind of worked, but I don't know how I feel about it. And that's not slay. Okay, now I'm just doing my lips. Okay. Is that a TikToker? Yeah, and her song was, I hope you're miserable until you're dead. Like, bro, go get some therapy. Um, slay queen? <laughs> And now I'm adding purple. But I got 20 years ago, even if I'm not 20. You mean, uh, I got that from you? I did, in your womb. From Katy Perry? This is Katy Perry. Are we gay for Katy Perry? 
I know. I'm just trying to embrace you, but it's like, I feel like I just have to ignore you. I don't feel like I'm in that much of a <laughs> uh, vibe. Are you homophobic? No. Well, shut up. In the, of a celebratory mood. You're not. Mom, shut up. Mood, I mean. Like, like, you sound dumb. I'm just going to ignore you instead of responding. Well, you're, just, you're trying to get a fucking reaction out of me being a little joke and I don't like it. We're going to celebrate who we are. <sighs> Alright, now I'm going to actually add blue mascara. That's what I have so far. It's kind of cute. It's pretty cute. I'm gonna add some red actually. I just looked back at my makeup inspiration picture. And I'm gonna add some. Okay, I'm doing mascara now. As I need, I'm doing so much. Like, I gotta realize that we can't have everything. Yeah. Yeah. I'm adding mascara now. You can fucking gloves there. See that? I put my gloves on and it comes out really easy with them things. Sorry, I'm being nosy. I think my family's fighting. You know, family drama. Nothing more, nothing less. Damn. I want to say my makeup inspiration, I really just took, like, no, like, this to color, and then I did it in my complete self. Like, I thought I was going to copy a little bit more, but I really haven't. And one one more thing. Live your extra life, baby. You only live once. And we live in a fucking circle in the sky. Like, we need to just live. Be yourself. Dress who you want. Because, guess what? It's okay if you want to wear a pride flag out to the mall. You only live once. So, be the most extra you can ever be. And just be yourself. Because anyway, are you really living if you're not being yourself? No. No, you're not. So, be yourself because it's fucking awesome. Just live life. Because you'll find your people. And guess what? You need to love yourself before you can love others. And you need to love yourself before it matters if other people love you. I love you. Do my under eyelashes now. I bet you're gonna need to move. Mama is doing her makeup, and I don't. Don't sit on me. Wait, what? Come here, Hoppy. Come on. No. Thank you. Hey, it's okay. Look, I usually love when she's sitting on me, but I'm trying to do my makeup right now. It's okay. Come here, you come. It's okay, you come. Hoppy. All right, come on. Let's go do this in the living room.
Okay, Shadi. We love this. This is so good. Fun. I don't know if I'm going to be adding any stickers, if any of you are wondering. My makeup look. I know. I feel like there's something so powerful about having blue eyelashes. I don't know why, but I, I, I just, I feel proud <laughs> with my blue little eyelashes on. I don't know, since my eyelashes are kind of naturally long, I just think that it looks really cool. I kind of want to see what it would look like if your eyelashes are not long. They're like shorter. I don't know, I just remember writing songs constantly in school and getting in trouble because I wasn't, you know, taking my notes. I'm just too busy writing lyrics. Okay. I think I'm going to add a little glitter on my nose, like on the tip. And then I think I might be done because, I don't know, the main... Course is definitely my outfit. I also don't know how I'm gonna use the bathroom in this outfit, but that's okay. Remember, don't hold in your pee. It's not good for your bladder. So that's why I'll figure it out. But I fucking love it. It looks great, and I feel fucking awesome, because I am fucking awesome. And I said it once, but I'm going to say it a motherfucking again. Hot is a mindset. If you feel hot, you are fucking hot. So just feel hot. It's not going to hurt nobody. And if it does, sometimes you got to put yourself fucking first. Put yourself first, live life, and have fun. Because in the end, it doesn't really matter. We live in a ball in, in the fucking sky. Shut. No one cares. Hmm, okay. Well, now that I'm done with my makeup, I don't need accessories, and I'm gonna... This is my makeup inspiration, though. It's by Mary Lee. I did makeup by her once before. One person asked me in the last thing I posted what I was reading, and I don't know what you're talking about. Right, anyways, being distracted. Okay, so now, accessories and hair. I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair. By the way. I don't know if I'm going to leave it or anything, because we're kind of running late, to be honest with you. I won't lie. We're a little behind, but we're getting there, shoddy. So, let me just clean up real quick, and I'll be back. Alright, I finally figured out my socks. I, the whole time I was talking to you and doing my makeup, I had to figure out my socks. You're about ready to travel. You're in crap. But anyways, here are my socks. They're just white and have bikinis on them. Like two pieces, one pieces. Why I pick those? Don't know. Also, remember, close up that gender. If you're a man, wear a bikini. Who the fuck cares? If you're a girl, wear a bikini. No one cares. If you're any other gender, wear what you want. Because guess what? It doesn't have gender. Nothing. Puppy! Puppy jumps out. So, how about you tell them about the little collar? So we just tried it on her. She needs a medium. But it's good. It worked good. Okay, I like that. Get back in control of your weight and your health. Okay, anyways, I hope you heard that. And if you didn't, too bad. I'll never know. Don't know what I'm talking about right now. Well, you need to put on your listening ears. Show them how to put their listening ears on. Okay, we'll do it like this. And then you're listening in. Now, I need to do my rings! And maybe a necklace. I'll probably wear a hard one because mm -hmm. I love gays. Well, oh my god! Hey mom. Puppy, why are you hiding? Hey mom! Why are you hiding from your gay mom? I am the gay people. <laughs> So yeah, Tortuga. And we don't really have a Tortuga named after you. Well, 
Is it nice, Steve? I'm talking about her. She's gross. Ew! But, but that's the only gay sentence I can think of. Veronica, you look so beautiful. Am I giving? I'm oh my god, you did your it. eyebrows. <gasps> yes, I did. Baby, you know I love it when you do the eyebrows. Look at the dog on the flag. Be careful. I'm scared that you're gonna. I'm scared. Look. Oops. Right, give me that phone. Give me the phone. Okay, wait. Look, look, I'm sorry. Look. I'm sorry. I, I, I get worried because I feel like she's gonna press the end button and I'm gonna be like, are you kidding me? Even if I'm almost done anyway. Well, you can't see shit because we need a camera. No. Also, I saw... I saw... I saw... <laughs> I saw all your comments. Shut the fuck up about my camera. Buy me a camera then. Buy me one. Stop saying, how much but money is a camera? Or then you're like saying, hey, um, can you fix the quality of your camera? I know it's not good. You get this or you get fucking nothing. Pick and choose your battles. You can and calm down. Like, exactly. Shut up. You. It's not that deep. Hit my voice and that's it. And follow me on Instagram even if I'm not telling you what my Instagram is. <laughs> Still follow it though. You little freak. Well, Avi, I have to wear my rainbow ring because the fuck do you think I am? Here it is. We all seen it. She is queen. She is slay. I'll wear, I think this one gives off gay. So I'm going to wear this one too. It's giving me gay vibes. You're gonna be a big girl. I'm gonna go for a walk. Are we gonna go on one today? We are? Okay. Can you move your dumb candle? She has a candle obsession and she puts it right in front of where, where I get my rings. And then I'm burning my fucking face off trying to pick my rings. And I have so many rings, I don't know. I mean, yes, it's hard. Yes, yes, yes. It's hard to find any rings. Like, like how so easy would it be to pick up that little white container that weighs like one pound? I'm gonna so put on you're this bitch too, to bitch again. No, but I, I'm scared to touch oh, yeah. it. Why? Because I don't want to burn myself. Have you seen my hands? My hands are no, so I, pretty, and my hands are so amazing oh my and gosh, beautiful. Shut up. I and I could never pick up the white. Also, because I don't fucking want to. <laughs> oh my god. Like, oh my god, hello. you don't want to? Be a good bodyguard so, and do it so that I don't burn myself. Oh my god, should I say, I don't want to move the candle? Oh, it's gonna trip you up and pull your flag down. That's gonna be funny. Gosh. Oh, well, I'll be, are you up for sabotage? Should I wear a hair clip? I don't know. I also can't find anything. Like, all of my rings are fucking gay as hell. I can pick something. Yeah. I love gay. Poppy, you can't eat my cute. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Now, so Nessa Barrett sings Brave. And something about, I hope you're so miserable until you die. Hey! So she's very dramatic and emotional. We love the gays. Okay, well, I don't know what I'm Per usual, I went fucking overboard with my rings, even if I already had the most overdramatic outfit you could ever think of. What are you doing with your hair? I, I, I said that to them too. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing with my hair. I don't know. I have no idea. Because I'm like, well, we're already running late, and the only things I can think about with my hair is like curling it. Because again, with my weird shaggy ass mullet cut, it's not like I can just put it in a ponytail. I have two, like, two million sections of my hair, so I don't really know. I don't know if I should just leave it, but I just feel like, is that boring? But then you have to realize, listen, a tip for fashion. Not everything can be the main attraction. You have to pick something. Like, it's either your outfit, your hair, your makeup, or your accessory. Not everything can be because, 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 because. Then it gets too much, and then you're not even seeing how you style and how pretty it is. So, remember that, you fellow gay people. I like that. Are those too many rings? No. Okay, these are gonna be my rings. Yes, I've worn these five million times, but I'm wearing them five million more. So, I guess I'm done. But now, what are we doing with my hair? Like, should I just. Do you need stickers on your stomach or something? I don't know. Should I put stickers here? I don't know. Like, my hair looks good. I mean, I will say this mm -hmm. part here. I don't know what I did. 
maybe like it was because I decided to cut off some of my dead ends when I was like when my hair was already wet. I don't know if that's why it's like happy or something and smiling. It's cute though. Um, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair. Like, I don't know. Cause I also don't have many hats. Like I don't know. I don't know if I should just put on a hat or something. But like the only one I have is a cow person hat. <laughs> I don't know. But We're like so that's nice. stupid. I'm wearing a pride flag. I don't want to wear no dumb cow hat. Like I'm not some cowboy that's gay and <clears> decided <throat> to wear that. Like no. That's not what I'm going for. And I have a I have two hats. But one doesn't fit me and one's black. So I don't like them. They're not working for this outfit. Who? Oh no! Guys! What should I do? I will say though, I really like this. Like my side pro my side pro pro is so cute. Like totally look at the ones. I think it's, <laughs> it's gonna be the rest of the video is me looking at myself. I feel like that's just what I wish I didn't have to do this. I hate it. Hi, Elsie. Who's your precious? It's you! You're my angel goddess! Okay, so I think I'm gonna go now because I don't know. <laughs> Happy 3rd of June. It's only getting started and I'm already pushing my gay on to everyone. Um, and yeah. I'm so I'm proud of it too. Matches your outfit. How? How is, what do you mean? Ow. There you go. Whoa, it stayed so good. Well, you have to secure it. How? <laughs> God. God, you. Well, you can use a clip. I can use a clip. You can use a clip. Okay, I am not dealing with you. I don't care if you're in your period or not. I'm not dealing with you. You're a little <laughs> Thank <attitude>. you. <clears throat> I mean, I am dealing with you, but I'm not, like, listening anymore. I'm going to tune you out. Mom, this is too big. For this outfit. Garbage picker, be proud. I am proud. Say, I'm wearing my trash flower proudly. And make a little ring. Or something out of your other trash chicken. Stop! You're gonna make hubby eat it, you fucking creepy bitch. <laughs> Don't watch the end of this video. That's gonna be us fighting. For now. <laughs> I love how she's not even any of that. Well, she is a bitch. But she's not anything else, and I'm just like, here's Sally. I'm sorry. I apologize. For being it's dumb and stupid and dumb. <laughs> like, apologize, but that's the past now. I'm a new person. <laughs> I've evolved. <laughs> See, I can't say that either. You're funny. Um, and then this is going Okay. This is a casual outfit for me. So, play. I'm going to go now and figure out to do with my hair. But you don't need to listen to me no more because I don't feel like talking to you guys anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bored now. So remember, be gay and don't be gross because that makes you gross and ew, the fuck is wrong with you, nasty. So support people even if you're straight because you're already straight, so you already have something not good going for you. <laughs> It's all jokes, but it's funny because I'm gay and it's Pride Month and you can't hate me for saying it. Hi. Oh, you can't just say heart and make it nice. Okay, I take it all back. <laughs> I'm a different person that is a second to go. I am a new person. Okay, all sides, support people, gay, straight, whatever the fuck they are, you don't care. Don't be gross and live, love, love, be yourself. Ew, live, love, love. And then... And also, YOLO your life. Bye.